Welcome back guys, my name is Patrick. This is the Fanatic Rundown coming to you live from Rogers Place where the Edmonton Oilers have just lost 4-2 to to the Buffalo Sabres. And you gotta hand it to Eric Comrie tonight. He was absolutely outstanding. 47 saves for the Buffalo Sabres and the Oilers had so many glorious chances. I don't know how they didn't bury them. Comrie just stood on his head. A lot of times when the Oilers had a wide open shot or they would pass it and it was incredibly frustrating to watch guys. I'm sure you were watching on the TV and some of you here at the game as well. The opportunities they had to put the puck on the net and they'd either miss or Comrie stood on his head or they would make another pass. They're playing a really team game tonight, I guess you would have to say. No one wanted to be selfish and shoot the puck. A few times, Connor McDavid just took it on his back, tried to go in, but even Connor just couldn't find the magic tonight. There was just, it seemed to be no beating Eric Comrie. Ryan Nugent Hopkins finally got one with the net, or with the net pulled, with Stuart Skinner pulled. Speaking of Stuart Skinner, he played well tonight, but uh, wasn't as impressive as his Calgary performance. The Buffalo Sabres weren't as hard of an opponent as you would say the Calgary Flames are. And the Oilers really dominated this game. I think the shot totals were like 48, 27, something like that. So the Oilers certainly had their opportunities, but like I've said a few times now, Eric Comrie was just simply the difference tonight. The Oilers had, it seemed every giveaway the Oilers had ended up in the back of their net. The Sabres, aside from, uh, uh, I'm trying to think now, yeah, there was a breakaway in the second period. The Skinner stopped, I believe. But other than that, every great opportunity the Sabres had, they seemed to bury in the puck in the net. So kind of at a loss for words tonight guys it's really hard to be at the game and to witness that just <sighs> and we all saw the huge hit in the second period Labushkin just laid out Dylan Holloway I don't believe he returned to the game I didn't see him at all so I'm sure Jay Woodcroft has an update for us in the post-game news conference and we'll get an update there, but it did not look good for Dylan Holloway. I know he went to the room after that hit, so that one's really hard to... Dylan Holloway, just all the injuries he's already faced and three games into this regular season and he's already down and out already, so hopefully he's not gone for a long time, but I don't know, it was a heavy hit here at the game it looked like it was a clean hit I was looking at Twitter uh, in little breaks in the play there and Jason Greger and all those other guys were saying it was a clean hit so just you got to keep your head up all the way and unfortunately that was one that went against them so that one was really tough to watch but it was really nice Darnell Nurse goal in the first period beautiful passing play with Leon Dreisaitl that one was really nice and like I said, Nuge got the one with the empty netter to cut it to 3-2, to two, but the Sabres get the empty net goal to put it away 4-2. to two. And Eric Comrie, definitely the first star of the hockey game tonight, as is the case many times with the Oilers <laughs> facing certain goaltenders. They just find a way to stand on their head against the Oilers. And Eric Comrie, hometown boy, no exception. And he was the star of the game and basically won this one tonight for the Oilers. But... You can't say the Oilers did not have their chances. 48 shots, they have to find a way to bury some of those. And this was definitely a winnable hockey game for the Oilers. They have to be better. Every mistake, like I said, every big mistake they had ended up in the back of the net and uh, missed opportunities. And Eric Comrie is basically the story of the hockey game tonight. So I think I'll wrap it up there, guys, and uh, head on home. But uh, Buffalo Sabres 4, Edmonton Oilers 2. You've been watching the Oilers Fanatic. Thanks for being a fan. Take care, guys. I'll see you soon. Hey, how's it going?